Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel and to my 100 day project. My name is Lisbeth and I am a Danish mixed media artist. If you don't know what the 100 day project is, I have put a link below for the first day and there I tell you all about it. So look at that. Also, I have put a link for the playlist for this 100 day project in the description box below. But uh, I keep all my small pieces here in my brass box. And as you can see, the amount is growing and um, that's nice. Um, the substrate is watercolor, seven by 15 centimeters and uh, it is 200 GSM. In this video, I will make day 43 to 49, and that is week seven. So uh, let the fun begin. So this is day 43, and it is uh, 31 of March, 2024. And um, I think the great thing this year for me is I have decided of course to use the same substrate and something with paper and fabric and stitching but I decided that every week I can do a new color scheme or a new setup of some kind and that thing I think that works very well for me because I am not bored of this yet and I think it is exciting to pull materials on my table uh, take them on my table and look at them for for the whole week and do something for that week and when the week is done put them back in their boxes and make a new thing the next week so uh, after some earthy tones last week i have decided to go with this aqua pale turquoise greenish colors and I really like them. So here is a piece of fabric, another piece of fabric, and this is a leftover jelly print. And this is a piece of fabric. I don't know where, I think I have got it from a student at a, at a course at some time, but I think it looks very nice there. And then it is just some straight stitches there, but I think this one works very well. So uh, yeah. As you perhaps saw in the, at the beginning of the film, I have picked some different papers and fabrics out and uh, I will look them through and decide what to do today. I also have my yarns here in these colors I will use. And uh, yeah, I think that is that for now. Yeah, let us see here what we can do. So we will start with the date and it is day. Sorry, I'm not in frame. 44. And it is the 1st of April. And it's not a joke or a scam or something. It is that date. And I won't pull any tricks on you. Um, yeah, let me see. I just think I've decided to use this fabric here with the big dots and a copper piece here. And tear it. Yeah. 
have some small bits and bobs. No, 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 no. Perhaps the stripe of this one here. Let us see. Yeah, that's better. And let us see here. I think something like this and perhaps make put something in there. I will uh, glue it down with my glue stick and uh, you have seen me done this so many times before so I will spare you this and be back. This piece here isn't easy to glue down, it, it won't be sitting so I think I will just make a some very very small seat stitches to secure it so i will pre-poke oops sorry <laughs> here and uh, find my tape and of course it is rolled up or curled up here during the night you can't leave these things alone but here it is take a small piece of it and just glue it you know put it down there to secure the thread and then i will make the smallest smallest stitches just randomly and the thread I'm using is a mess I said cotton thread and uh, as I, as I have said before it is meant for really weaving but uh, it is such a nice thread to sew with, it just goes smoothly through everything and uh, I like it, it is on small cones. Instead of skeins or what it is called, uh, DMC yarn. It's also, DMC is also a, a very nice yarn, there is anything wrong with it except it is not working for me with six strands in a, in a thread so uh, I always get tangled up in, in it and uh, have much leftovers when I use that thread but um, I think it is the most common one people that embroider that in, uh, sewing and embroider are using if they are using cotton I seldom use wool in my embroidery but of course you can you can use anything as long as you can get the thread from the eye of the needle so here yeah, yeah. It's just secured here, and I will take the back side too and be back. I also have decided to make some French knot in this circle here, and I had taken double thread this time to make a bigger knot. So, my way of, of doing it is holding it this way, take my thread who's coming up, 
turn it around a couple of times through three four five five times perhaps and then oh sorry one two three four five and then you go down not in the same hole but as close to the hole you came up as you can and then you pull this tight here and then you have a knot and I don't mind if they are a little wonky or not perfect and I'll come up here again and again I will take my thread here one two three four five and oh sorry six and go down here as close as I can and go down and this is I'm keeping this tight not tight but the tension of it and then I carefully put this thread this through and you can see it's fine small knots I will do the rest and be back. So done with the French nuts and I really like these straight edges here. So this was day 44 and the 1st of April. So I think this was a fine one. Good morning. Today is day 45 and it is the 2nd of April. And today I have used a, an oak sliver of an old jelly print fabric and some i don't know what it is it's some kind of party stuff the fabric of some kind and uh, then here as you can see i have a small piece of sea glass i have sewn it down and i really like this one i think it is a nice piece so this was a great morning to do that see you tomorrow bye bye Hi, hi, today it is day 46 and it is the 3rd of April and uh, I have made this piece here. I'm not very keen on it, uh, but it is what it is. A piece of jelly print, a fabric and some bling bling fabric. And here I have made a row of herringbone stitches and I've done it twice. And uh, this is a piece of a half of a fill circle and, and I just stitched it down with back stitches. I don't think it is working so well as some of the others, but um, I like these kind of stitches, so they are nice. So um, yeah, but you can't love all your children equally. Perhaps you should, but um, <laughs> in this case I don't. <laughs> so uh, see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Hello, hello. Today is day 47 and it is the 4th of April 2024. So that's set there and let's turn this over. Oh, what is that? No, I will cover that, I think. And today I th think I will like to use these two things together i think they look nice it's a piece of fabric and that is a piece of a gel print and perhaps i should make some stripes this way here so i think i will cut them like this and another one Oh, sorry, it's my stomach who's rumbling. I haven't had breakfast yet, so I'm, I'm up early. Today I have a busy day. Oh, that's so nice with all those frayed edges. Very wide enough to have that. I just cut. Yes, 
something like that and it is quite pale i think so perhaps we can put something on that gives oh sorry that gives it a little more color in the bottom what do i have else i haven't used this week so far Nope. I think this one looks nice here with this. So perhaps I just will cut another strip of this and see. Lovely sound, tearing both. Yeah, something like that. And perhaps we can make a long, skinny piece or something like that. There. And then I have this round thing here. Perhaps it could come. Oh, I have a button or some gold bling here yeah i will decide when i have glued it down and uh, i will be back when i have blah, 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 blah. <laughs> i will be back when i have glued the pieces down as you can see i have changed my mind i thought it was too pale but i have this uh, jelly print i made this printed on uh, black paper and uh, if you tear it like this you can see you get black edges from the paper and uh, sometimes you can use that as an effect and I have used it this way here. Um, so I have glued this strip down here and then I have this small, I really don't know what it is, but um, I always save things and stuff I found around where I come. So yeah but i think i think it looks nice there so i don't think the glue stick will uh, keep it in place for forever so i think i will, I will have to glue it uh, to soak sew it down or whatever so it also so uh, but i think it should sit there and uh, i have uh, this shred left from yesterday in my needle and i think the color is nice for that so what can i do what can i do i think i will put the hole here and uh, oh damn now it's gone again okay, just sitting all right and then I will just stitch around there isn't much room left for your fingers here and you can easily <laughs> stitch in yourself instead <laughs> enough it won't run anywhere so I'll just take a little piece of tape again and piece it down here yeah that was set 
but I think it needs some stitching and I can't quite decide what to do so I will think a little and be back when I look at it I think I want to make something inside these four pieces and I just think it has to be some small stars of the kind so let us see if I can do that and I use the same color of red because I think this piece can need a little contrast it is the fabric and the paper is quite pale in itself so I will come up here and go down there and I'll pre -book. And go down here and here. Come over here. Pre book. Come up. down and then you have a snowflake or a little star or yeah you could call it many things i would do the rest and be back done with today day 47 and uh, you can see the small stitches here and oh isn't that yummy all those frayed edges here uh, i think this looks quite nice and i really like the black torn edges here that gives it a contrast that this piece needed. So that was that. Um, so I will see you tomorrow. Hi, hi. So again, another day, another little piece. Today is day uh, 48. And this piece is made of some uh, fabric. And this is from one of the silvages from the fabric, and I think thought it looked nice made in Japan. And this is a piece of um, jelly print, and I have just made some stitches, hit back stitches there. And this piece is, uh, I don't know what it is, but I think it looked nice there. So, uh, all in all, I think. This was a nice piece here, this day 48. So uh, last week, stay tomorrow. See you there. Bye bye. These pieces speak to me this day here. Um, so I think I will see what I can do with them. This is a uh, piece of a jelly print. Um, so again, I will tear the edges because I like torn edges in my papers and in my fabric. And uh, yeah. This there. Yeah, it's too long, but that we could do something about. perhaps better. Sorry for my arm. Yeah. And this is a ribbon, piece of ribbon. I don't know if it fits there, but perhaps it does. A couple of years ago, I was in Amsterdam in the Netherlands and there was a market and there was some people selling uh, ribbons from, I think they are used for the the women in of India for their saris but I'm not quite sure but it looks like something for that purpose this this is a piece from an old curtain yeah perhaps something like this I will take a piece of this off here Oops, I'll turn it this way and I don't think I can tell this. this is very loose in the weaving 
so I will destroy it totally if I tear it. But I can free the edges very easily, I think. It is very lively, this fabric here. the frayed edges down Ella, that out that, that, that side and uh, get cut a little bit off here it's a little too long yeah. I think something like this yeah I will glue that piece down so you can see how I do it if any it is if you haven't seen me doing this, but it is quite simple. I just use my glue stick, and this fabric really goes wonky <laughs> when you put glue on it. But I like the fabric here. So, yeah, that's it. And uh, don't be precious with your glue, but um, it has to dry a little before you can stitch into it. And then I will put this piece down here. I think these two colors look very nice together. And again, I don't mind that the edges here are white on the paper. So yeah, that was, you can say, the base layer, but... Um, Now the hundred dollar question is, is this too much? Somehow, somehow I like the colors and it lifts it a little. Perhaps if we can use only a piece this way instead. Um, no, I think. I think I want a piece all the way down. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope obviously is a, in a bling bling mood today. <laughs> so there. And I will glue that down. I will let it dry and then I will decide what to do with it. So I found this little, uh, I think it is a ceiling ring or something plasticky, and I think it looks nice there. So I have decided to embroider some, um, uh, what do they call, blanket stitches down there and up there when the, so the legs go in here between each other. So. I will sew that on as the last thing, so yeah, I will um, poke some holes here, let's see, sorry, out of frame. That is the shred. That's my tape. There. So you come up here, and people do it different ways, but it is the same. But you can hold it in different ways. So I go down there, and I came up here. And then I put my needle in the little loop to secure. So it is, isn't running anywhere. And then I will poke a hole and a hole. And I will 
come down here and come up and that will there. Grey poke and poke. And again I really don't mind if they are a little wonky. If I had wish they were totally straight on it lined up I would have used a ruler or something to to mark but uh, that's not my style or my, my goal here in life to be so precise but I think you can see what I mean they are what I'm doing and uh, I will do the row down and when I is beginning on the other side I will show you again what I do. Now I am all the way down. So it, the last stitch here and to secure that or close it I go down in the same hole again but with the thread inside the loop. If I can yeah it was yeah so that is the row there. So now when I'm done here, well like not done, but at this, at this end, I think I will sew this piece on with on the same time when I have the thread here. So I come up here and I just go down there. Again, this is my 12 o'clock. And my six o'clock there, and three o'clock, Just go down here like this, and the last, yeah, nine o'clock. Yeah, of course, you can give it. Uh, four more stitches but I don't think it is necessary I think it will be there so again we have to go this way up so I will pre-poke and you can see I poke in the middle of these two legs and one under and one down there so again I will come up here Go down there and come up here and secure the thread. And again, I will poke in the middle of these two legs and down here. So I will go up, down there, and come up here. And you can see I wasn't in the loop, so in with my needle. I think this is going to be a long video, this one. Like this. You can see it now. I will do the rest and be back. So done with the stitching. It is one of my favorite stitches, this uh, blanket stitch, because you can do so many things with it. You can make a small sp space between the legs and you can make long or short legs so different sizes of legs and you can go round and and it is also a, it's a nice flow when you stitch. So I really like this. So I think this turned out quite nice even though it is very bling bling 
but I forgot to write the day and it is day 49 and it is uh, oh, what is it the 6th of April 2024 and I'm yeah tomorrow I will be half through and uh, I am really enjoying this project uh, this year so um, I hope you would uh, give it uh, my videos a thumbs up and perhaps consider subscribing my little Danish channel and uh, I will be back next week with uh, this must be week eight I think with another theme for this kind of work so um, take care be creative until next week bye bye